Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow Liam and I are going on a little weekend away at the Sunshine Coast. I'm so excited. He has his last like big exam tomorrow morning and then he does have another exam but it's not for a while. So he's like kind of done and we can kind of celebrate him finishing another year of uni. You know what I mean? Like we can finally like go away and he's not studying and I'm gonna try and take some time off too and we're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna chill, spend some time at the beach and I have been looking forward to this for the longest time. So I thought I would film a little pack with me, show you guys what I'm bringing with me. Let's just hang out for a few days. That's what all my vlogs are. Just me and you hanging out. every video like this just like sitting down on my bed chatting to you guys we don't really do that much anymore but I guess we're bringing it back for this little part of the vlog a huge thank you to White Fox Boutique for sponsoring this portion of the video you guys know I love White Fox and I'm especially excited to be talking about them today because they're actually having their Black Friday sale right now so usually I have a code that will get you 15% off but right now my code RACHXO I'll put it on the screen for you guys will get you 30% off 30%. That's literally double what my normal code will get you, but you'll only be able to get that 30% off until the 1st of December. So definitely take advantage of that. That is the best deal I've ever had to share with you guys from White Fox. After December 1st, my code will go back to giving you guys 15% off. So you can still continue to use it, but I would definitely recommend making an order before December 1st and getting that crazy deal. 30% off is so good, guys. If you guys don't know, White Fox has beautiful clothes, but they also have a swimwear line called White Fox Swim and an active wear line called White Fox Active. They also do express shipping worldwide and they have afterpay available for their Australian, US and New Zealand customers if that is something that you want to take advantage of. Let's start off with active wear. I have this really, really cute set. I've actually already worn this. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I got the package and I was like, I need to put that on my body right now. It is so comfy. They do have this set in a few different colors and they also have like the leggings and I think they have a top as well, not just a sports bra. This is the time check sports bra. I got mine in an extra small and these are the long distance bike shorts. And I got these in a small. So I'm usually a six or an extra small on the top and then usually a small or an eight down the bottom. So just stick to your normal sizing, I would say. And actually to go along with that set, I got this little singlet top because I thought it matched the colors so perfectly. If you can tell, obviously it's white, but it has a little like mocha colored logo on the front and I just think that would be such a cute little set. Imagine just getting up, going for a walk, going to grab a coffee, wearing this outfit. Like you'd look so put together. So this is called the Power Woman Tank in an extra small. Love this. They have a few different colors in this as well. I actually don't know if this is supposed to be active wear or not. I feel like I'm going to wear it as like a normal tank and as active wear as well because it's just like that perfect length. Do you know what I mean? Like with high-waisted bike shorts or high-waisted denim shorts, that's like what I live in in the summer. So that's perfect. Speaking of things that I live in, the next few items I have to share with you are probably my favorite items. Every single time I do a White Fox order, these are always my favorite items, but I got two new pairs of their lounge shorts. When I die, bury me in White Fox lounge shorts because they are truly elite. Like they are so comfy. They are so good. I'm wearing the gray ones right now. I think I have like maybe five or six pairs of their lounge shorts now, but I didn't have these colors. So I thought I would grab them. These ones are super, super fun. I love the logo on them. These ones are called the Real Deal Lounge Shorts shorts and I usually get mine in an extra small or a small. They've got pockets, they've got a drawstring, they're literally perfect and I also got a pair of white ones because I don't have white ones and these ones have a little blue logo and I think that's absolutely stunning. The love I have for these shorts is kind of ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. I also picked up another one of these little basic tees. I'm actually wearing the white one right now and I wear this at least once a week. I wear it all the time so I decided to get the grey one as well. I'm pretty sure they have black and then a couple of other colours as well like a pinky colour and, and then I think they also have like a neutral like beige tan color as well. The one that I'm wearing right now is a small, but I kind of regretted not getting an extra small, so I got an extra small in the gray. So this is called the Switching Sides Crop, and it's just the comfiest material. I think this will look really cute with the little white shorts. 
Isn't that just like the cutest little comfy outfit? Pretty much completely opposite from loungewear, we have this little like white, almost like corset kind of top. This is called the What's Your Plan Bustier. I got this one in a small because I've had bustier or like corset tops in the past that have just been like, I literally can't breathe. So I decided to size up and I'm glad that I did. I feel like sizing with this kind of style of top is kind of personal like I don't know if I can tell you whether to size up or stay your normal size or whatever I think the extra small would have fit me but I think the small is a bit more comfortable so hopefully that's helpful I don't know if it is I also picked up this stunning bodysuit it's called the hang on to love bodysuit it's in the mocha color you guys know I love brown I feel like I've heard a few people say that the brown bandwagon has passed it has moved on but I refuse to let that ship sail I'm gonna continue wearing brown until I hate it and I don't hate it now so I'm gonna keep wearing it and continue buying pieces that are brown I just think it's such a flattering color on everyone and it goes with so many things because it's a neutral I will continue to wear brown speaking of brown we have these beautiful long linen pants. These are called the lead-in style pants. I got them in a size small and I think they are absolutely beautiful. And the reason that I got these is because I actually already had the top that matches with them. Like they perfectly match together. I also have the skirt that goes with this outfit. So now I have like the skirt or the pants option, maybe depending on how I'm feeling that day. And I just think linen pieces are so beautiful and they're so easy to dress up or down and also very comfortable. Okay, so along with the lounge shorts, I think my other all-time favorite pieces from White Fox are their oversized tees. They're just so cute. So I picked up two new ones. Look at the colors. Pastels. So beautiful. I pretty much always get them in a small slash medium because they're already designed to be oversized. So I think just stick with your regular size if you're going to order these. Um, this one is called the My Kind of People Tea. And then I also got this pink one, which just says, be kind. Kindness always comes back. And I think, again, the colors of this are stunning. The little message is so cute. And this one is literally called the Be Kind Tea. I think I actually have one more oversized tea in this haul, which I have also already worn because I couldn't help myself. And it's this one here, which is like a black acid wash. And this one is called the Now You See Me Tea. I feel like these two items, as like a set, could be up there with my favorite items from White Fox. So we have the Stay In Touch shirt in a small medium and the Hard To Handle shorts in a small. These pieces do come separately, so you could just get the top or just get the shorts if you would like, but obviously you can get them and wear them as a little set, and I think that's what I'll be doing. Again, they're just this beautiful linen material. I feel like there are multiple types of linens, and this is like a really soft, comfy linen, if that makes any sense. Next up, we have this beautiful ribbed dress. It's got a bit of like a halt neck design and a bit more of an open back because it just like ties up at the back Which I think is absolutely stunning This is called the leaving so soon mini dress and it also comes in a bunch of other colors as well And then this one is beautiful as well I love the color of this and it has like these exposed seam kind of detail, which is so cute again A little halt neck so it has a bit more of an open back and again I think this one actually comes in a few different colors as well, but I could not go past the sage I almost forgot about these but the last thing I have to show you are a pair of shoes these are called the Living Lavish Mules in buttercream and I got a size 7 which is just my normal size and they fit perfectly look how beautiful this shoe is it looks so luxurious and so like designer to me we love a thick heel they also have that like square toe detail and these are just so beautiful like you could put these on display and they'd be a decor piece they're so beautiful but those are all the pieces I have to share with you guys today I'll leave all of the links to these specific items down below along with my sizing as well as a link to the White Fox website and remember to use my discount code RACHXO if if you want to save 30% off and like I said at the start take advantage of that I've never had such a great discount code to share with you guys so if you've had your eyes on some white fox stuff now is the time because it's only valid until December 1st but a huge thank you to white fox for sponsoring this portion of the vlog but let's get on with the rest of my day now to put this all away Ugh. I'm gonna time lapse it so I can't procrastinate literally half the reason that I film any sort of cleaning content or like tidying up content is just to motivate myself and to like make sure I get it done because I feel like if I'm filming it, I have to do it. guys have seen this TikTok trend. I feel like a lot of you probably will have, but it's like that trend where there's a glass and you're throwing pens in it. And sometimes people do it with a friend or their partner or something. And before they throw a pen into the glass or the container, they'll say, if I get this in blank, and if the pen goes in the cup, they have to do it. So I've seen some people do it with their partners where they say, if I get this in, 
you have to do the dishes for a week or if I get this in you have to take me on a date or you have to pay for my lunch or I don't know something like that today I saw one where a girl said if I get this in I get to buy this book if I get this in I get to buy this book and then she went shopping and got those books so I thought it would be fun because I was planning on going book shopping anyway and doing a little bit of a book haul but I thought it would be fun to do it in this format I hope that makes sense I don't know if I'm gonna get any in let's have a go if I get this in, I get to buy a Colleen Hoover book. Hmm. If I get this one in, I get to buy People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Nope. I'll buy a thriller. I'll get a book that has pink on the cover. <laughs> I'm not getting any books apparently. I'll buy a viral book talk book. Okay, I'm moving closer. I'll buy a non-fiction book. I get to buy the next book in the Addicted series. Yes! I'll buy a book that I've never heard about or seen on Booktube or Booktop before. A book that has blue on the cover. I am the worst. This is awful. A book that starts with T. <laughs> Something from the YA section. The Love Hypothesis. I literally was prepared to buy like five books and so far I'm getting one. I'm sad. A Colleen Hoover book. A Colleen Hoover book. A Colleen Hoover book. A Colleen Hoover book. Are you joking? A Colleen Hoover book. Thank you. I've decided that I'm not gonna listen to the haters, AKA apparently that wooden container that I chose and I'm gonna go book shopping and get whatever I wanna get because that whole situation just genuinely made me sad. So. Haters are gonna hate, I'm gonna live my life. you guys my finds from today honestly I didn't do too much damage but I'm very happy with my purchases I feel like they were all books that have been on my TBR for a while so first I went into Target and I got these two which are both TJR books Taylor Jenkins Reid if you don't know she's the author of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo Daisy Jones and the Six and Malibu Rising which are three of my all-time favorite books and I know that her other books aren't as highly rated usually but I still wanted to pick them up I already have Forever Interrupted I haven't read it and I don't own In Another Life but I have read the ebook version of it so I decided to pick up the last two I think these are the last two that she has so we have after I do and one true loves and these were $12 each so I was like oh my goodness I need those like that is an incredible price something that frustrates me so much is this little circle that says like from the author of Daisy Jones and the Six it doesn't come off it's not a sticker it's like printed onto the cover of the book which is so frustrating to me like why would you do that just make it a sticker anyway then I went into Dimmix and I found one book they had an incredible selection but I decided to just get one today and it is The Love Hypothesis. I've heard so, so, so much about this and I, I just kind of felt left out. So I wanted to hop on the bandwagon. I'm very excited about this. I've just, I've just heard so, so, so many people rave about this. Again, it has this little red spot on it that says the TikTok sensation, which is so cringe to me, but it's printed onto the book. Why did they do that? It'll be so funny and like, I don't know, five, ten years when op shops and thrift stores are just full of books that say like TikTok sensation on them. I wonder if TikTok will still be a thing in like five, ten years. I feel like it could be. Anyway, very excited about that. It's now five o'clock. I probably have like 30 minutes until I'll start making dinner. I need to decide which books I'm going to bring with me on my little beach getaway. We're only going for like three days, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get a lot of reading done. I'm definitely going to bring the inheritance games because I'm like part way through that, but I have so many good options right now, so I just don't know. 
Good morning guys, it's now Thursday. I am so exhausted. Like I woke up feeling exhausted and that's not the best way to start your day, but it's fine. It'll be a good day. It's just about to hit 7 a.m. and I just got to my parents' house. I'm hanging out with my mom this morning. I think we're gonna take the dogs for a walk, go out for breakfast. So I haven't had a coffee yet this morning and I feel it. I feel like my energy levels are at like 50% capacity and usually a coffee would really help with that, but I'll have one in a bit. And then at 11 a.m. I'm getting my hair done. And then Liam and I are heading off to the beach this afternoon, so very exciting day. I just drove to my hairdresser. I'm here a couple minutes early, so I'm just gonna sit in my car for a sec. I don't even know if I told you guys what I was getting done to my hair. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. I think it'll just be very similar to what I have already or like what I got last time, except I'm not gonna cut it as short. I kind of want to try out long hair again. Not like long, long, but just like a bit longer than what I used to have and just see how that goes and just go a little bit blonder because it really is addicting, isn't it? You just start going a little bit blonde and then you just, you just keep going. I also got changed at my mom's house because I didn't want to come in my workout clothes and Liam and I will probably head off to the coast as soon as I get home. Guys, I also just realized my regrowth for like the blonde, that's how much my hair has grown since last time I got my hair done. That's actually kind of wild because I feel like I didn't get it done like that long ago. My hair has been growing super fast, at least for me. And I don't really know why. I don't feel like I've done anything different, but like that is a decent chunk of regrowth in like three months or something maybe. I don't even know. got home this is the new hair i feel like the front pieces always look almost platinum when i first get it done but um but it doesn't look like that for long it kind of becomes more like of a normal blonde after a wash or two but it just feels so good i feel like when i'm vlogging and taking photos and stuff i look so much more blonde than i actually am because if you look at the sides there's actually quite a lot of brunette still there but i get the very front pieces highlighted so when you look at me front on it gives the illusion of looking quite blonde when in fact I am not at all. You can see how bright this piece is compared to like pieces further back which are a bit more like golden I guess. Last time I got my hair done I had a few people ask me what I ask for from my hairdresser. That was such a mouthful. Wow. And to be honest I feel like she just reads my mind. I don't really ask her for much and I kind of just do whatever she thinks will look good. But I'm pretty sure I just ask for like a balayage, more of a golden balayage like on the sides and the back. And then I just get the front pieces highlighted like all the way up at my roots but the rest of it does not have blonde at the roots at all. It's all just like at the bottom. I don't know if that makes any sense. Honestly, just show pictures. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Go on Pinterest, find a picture that you like, show that to your hairdresser. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it because if you're like me, you have no idea what you're talking about. Friday. It's 10.30 and I think I've just finished the work that I need to get done today. This is supposed to be a holiday. It does still feel like a holiday. I'm staring at the beach right now. I'm working with an ocean view. <laughs> it's not really something that I could complain about, but I've just spent the last few hours in front of my computer ticking off some stuff. Would have loved to have like a work-free holiday, but it's a busy time of year, so that doesn't always happen, but I've tried to just smash it out now so that I can kind of chill. And I know it's only like mid-morning now, but I think we're going to go grab a coffee there are so many good cafes around that we want to try so we're kind of like why not just like have a few coffees a day try out some different cafes we're supporting local businesses we can justify it we just really love coffee so it's something that we really enjoy doing together when we're on holidays or even when we're not on holidays i guess as well let me show you my view right now are you joking look at this it's the most beautiful day we definitely want to head down to the beach a little bit later today now that i've been able to get a lot of my work done it's absolutely stunning this unit that we're staying in now is actually owned by liam's family so we get to stay here quite often which is a huge blessing and i like i don't know my smile could not be any bigger than the fact that we get to stay here pretty much whenever we want as long as it's available this is where we stayed for part of our honeymoon as well so it's just a super special place but i think we're gonna go grab some coffee now
anything better than a post beach swim shower and then having some cold fruit and cold water. It's just like a different level of refreshing, honestly. I reckon I could eat a kilo of raspberries.